Let us sign ourselves. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear sisters and brothers, we are in the third week of Easter. And today on this first Friday of the month, the readings invite us today for a conversion of our hearts. In the first reading we hear the conversion episode of St. Paul. And in the Gospel, the Jews are pretty scandalized by Jesus' words. And the readings invite us for a conversion of our thoughts and our minds. Because if our thoughts, our minds, our actions are not in alignment with the Lord's will, we will go haywire. So in this Mass, let us pray for each one of us, our family members, our friends, especially those of us whom we know have gone a little wayward, who are struggling right now, that the Lord may work mightily in their lives and bring about a conversion of their hearts. And for all the times that we have not paid attention to the Lord working in and through our lives, for all the times where we have not paid attention and not helped others come closer to God, let us ask for pardon and for forgiveness. Together let us say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection, may through the love of the Spirit ourselves rise to newness of life through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God for ever and ever Amen A reading from the Acts of the Apostles In those days Saul still breathing threats and murder against the disciples of the Lord went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues at Damascus, so that if he found any belonging to the way, men or women, he might bring them bound to Jerusalem. Now as he went on his way, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven shone around him. And falling to the ground, he heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? And he said, Who are you, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, who you are persecuting. But rise and enter the city, and you will be told what you are to do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, hearing the voice, but seeing no one. Saul rose from the ground, and although his eyes were open, he saw nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him into Damascus. And for three days he was without sight, and neither ate nor drank. Now there was a disciple at Damascus named Ananias. The Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, and he said, Here I am, Lord. And the Lord said to him, Rise and go to the street called Straight, and at the house of Judas, look for a man of Tarsus named Saul. For behold, he is praying, and he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him 
so that he might regain his sight. But Ananias answered, Lord, I have heard from many about this man, how much evil he has done to your saints at Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priest to bind all who call on your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for he is a chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. For I will show him how much he must suffer for the sake of my name. So Ananias departed and entered the house. And laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road by which you came has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his sight. Then he rose and was baptized and taking food, he was strengthened. For some days he was with the disciples at Damascus and immediately he proclaimed Jesus in the synagogues saying, he is the son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial sum. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. Please repeat. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. O praise the Lord, all you nations. Acclaim him, all you peoples. Our response. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. For his merciful love has prevailed over us and the Lord's faithfulness endures forever. Our response. Go into all the world and proclaim the gospel. Kindly rise. Alleluia. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me, and I in him, says the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. At that time, the Jews disputed among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? So Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever feeds on my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in him. As the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever feeds on me, he also will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like the bread the fathers ate and died. Whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Jesus said these things in the synagogue as he taught at Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to, your to Lord, you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, in the first reading, although this key episode in the history of the church is traditionally called as the conversion of Paul, but this is not a conversion in the literal sense, in the sense of Paul did not change his religion, so to say. Paul did not cease to be a Jew, but he converted himself in the sense of from a Jew who was persecuting Christians, who was behind their blood, behind anyone who was following Christ, now he becomes a Jew who is ready to die for Christ. St. Luke describes this event as a theophany and he tries to draw a parallel here with the encounter that Moses had with the Divine Presence which we see in Exodus chapter 3. Like Moses, Saul is also startled with the manifestation of brightness. 
he hears his name been called twice he hears the voice identify itself and also he receives a commission he receives a mission and saul undergoes a spiritual enlightenment with his baptism and his physical blindness is cured though paul was temporarily blinded he really did have in a deeper and spiritual sense a truly eye opening experience when we come to the gospel today taken from st john chapter 6 we see that the jews are pretty scandalized are taken aback by the words of jesus how can he say to us that we need to eat his flesh and drink his blood and they are talking from the perspective of the levitical prohibitions that was there in chapter 17 of the book of leviticus which prohibits them from doing all sorts of these things and the jews are operating from that point of view however jesus wants to say that he has life in him that comes from the father and therefore whoever eats his flesh and drinks his blood will share in that same life that god the father gives him and they will be in communion with the son of god today we are called my dear brothers and sisters to a conversion of our thoughts and our ideas and aligning them to that of god's will it is a pride and our ego that tells us that i know everything i have been studying scripture for so long i don't need any prayers because everything in my life is going well i don't have to go for confession regularly because what wrong have i done i'm leading a very virtuous life but this is a pride this is our ego my dear sisters and brothers because if we see even saul thought that what he was doing was right though the commandment strictly prohibited them from killing anyone and he was a staunch pharisee saul is behind the christians behind anyone who's following christ he's behind their blood and that zeal convinced him that pride that ego blinded him from seeing that what he was doing was indeed god's will till christ intervened in his life and even for the jews that we hear in the gospel they are of the opinion that they are following all the laws and all the commandments that are there in the torah who is this new teacher who is telling them to do otherwise and therefore they cannot understand they cannot see what christ wants them to do but when saul allowed the voice of christ allowed jesus to work in him we see that all that pride all that anger all that misunderstanding misconceptions that he had falls down like scales from his eyes so my dear brothers and sisters let us pray during this mass for the grace that whatever ego whatever pride that you and i have that i don't need all this all this prayer all this conversion of heart is for other people not for me i am i am leading a virtuous life i am regular for my prayers i do my family rosary regularly i go for mass regularly i don't need god's grace for all of us who have this mindset let us pray during this mass that like saul we may allow our hearts to be converted we may allow those blindness that misconception to fall off from our eyes like fish scales today we also remember saint dominic savio whose memoria we celebrate today and in this mass let us ask his intercession also that through his intercession all of us who are struggling in our quest to god in our in understanding what god wants of us may allow allow the lord to work in our hearts allow the lord to convert our hearts and commission us to do his will let us spend a moment in silent prayer Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord, our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me the mystery of our faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess in your resurrection until you come again therefore o lord as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven and as we look forward to his second coming we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice look we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit may become one body one spirit in christ may he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with saint joseph her most chaste spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs with saint dominic savio and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may the sacrifice of our reconciliation we pray o lord advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our pope and Oswald gracious our bishop the order of bishops all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion o merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at this passing at their passing from this life give kind admittance to your kingdom there we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through christ our lord through whom you bestow on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen. amen the peace of the lord be always with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit let us turn towards each other and offer each other the peace and joy of christ peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take us into the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. He calls us today for a conversion of our hearts and our minds to his will. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O oh Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O oh Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment Thine. Lord Jesus, thank You for the blessings and graces You have given me through this spiritual communion. The Crucified is risen from the dead and has redeemed us. Hallelujah. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.